two more theorems for uh, polynomial zeros. So the first is the factor theorem. It's very, very easy to understand, and it's very simple. Basically, it just says, if c is a zero of f of x, then x minus c is a factor of f. It's that simple. So if 2 was a 0, then x minus 2 would be a factor. If negative 3 was a 0, then x plus 3 is a factor. It's going backwards between synthetic division. And that's just it. The second one is Descartes' rule of signs. And it's named for the mathematician uh, René Descartes, who, um, wh whose name comes from the Cartesian plane. Anyway. Here's what it says. It says for all the sign changes in the function f of x, that's the maximum number of positive zeros. You keep going down by 2 until you get to 1 or 0. For sign changes in f of minus x, that's the number of negative zeros. And again, you keep going down by 2. And also, I didn't write it here, but you should account for the number of complex zeros. Complex zeros are always even, so you go from the highest from the degree of the polynomial, and then if it's odd, subtract 1. So if it's degree 5, you will have a maximum of 4 complex zeros, 2 complex zeros, or no complex zeros. So I have a function here. So I have a function. Now we're going to find positive zeros first. How many positive? Well, positive zeros. How many sign changes there are? It goes from positive to negative. And that's one sign change. Negative to positive, two sign changes, and positive to negative. That's three. So you can have three positive zeros or one positive zero. Now I'm going to do f of minus x. And it says wherever you see an x, put a minus x in there. Minus x. It's going to be three times minus x cubed minus 4 minus x squared plus 2 times minus x plus minus 3. And then that's going to be minus 3x cubed because it's negative, positive, negative, minus a 4x squared minus 2x minus 3. And you see that it's all negative. Negative, 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 negative. So, um, that's, there are no negative zeros. So the Cartes rule of signs gives you an idea of how many of each type there are and how, where you should start testing. Also, for complex zeros, I'll just uh, denote that as i. Yeah, I know it kind of looks like an upside down exclamation mark, but deal with it. Um, like I said, we take the highest degree. If it's odd, go down by 1. So, in this case, you can have two complex zeros or none. Gives you a t an idea of the uh, number and nature of these roots. Well, that's pretty much all the theorems there are that I've explained in the last videos and this one. Um, in the next video, we're actually going to solve a polynomial.